Hallelujah. I trust you, Jesus. Hi, welcome in. Let's go to God's word. How is serving as a first responder helping you fulfill God's calling on your life? The Lord said to me, do not say, I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Jeremiah 1 verse 7. Jesus called out to them, come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Mark 1 verse 17. Jesus repeated his greeting, peace to you. And he told them, just as the Father has sent me, I'm now sending you. John 20 verse 21. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7. Samuel took a flask of olive oil and poured it on Saul's head and kissed him, saying, Has not the Lord anointed you rule, ruler over his inheritance? 1 Samuel 10 verse 1. Calling. Some occupations aren't for everyone, for they require someone who responds to the job because of their calling. It has to be something you are deeply and truly convicted to pursue, something more than a career, a paycheck, or retirement. We often relate the word calling in the church to ecclesiastical pursuits as pastors, evangelists, teachers, or the like, but this is not the only case. Being a first responder in any capacity is a calling. It is a calling to be a servant, using your natural gifts and skills developed over your career to serve each other, your community, and God is not a mundane job. It's a divine calling. It doesn't mean that you are promised a comfortable life. It means you are in the right place and he will empower and equip you to do the work for which he purposed you. Heavenly Father, I answered your call in my life to serve as a first responder. I do not take this call lightly. Guide my hands and feet. Grant me wisdom. Empower me with discernment and give me the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen.